Hey guys, so today I decided to take some time out and spend some time outside because the sun was shining and uh, wanted to take you on this trip to one of my favorite places and look at some of these sedimentary rock layers along this waterfall over here. So we're gonna just kind of try to climb gingerly through the forest. Oh, excuse me, a little out of breath. I think I can get up on top of, oh, this is hard. A little out of breath here. Whew. Up here on top. Wait, what's that sound? Oh no. Ah. All right, well that was a close escape. A um, little bit of change of plans. I decided, well, instead, let's go check out this cave and see what's back in here. Because caves are really interesting structures that display the geology of the Earth. Oh, but I hear something. What's that noise? I think maybe she's tired of being quarantined with me. Well, hi there, buckaroos. Welcome to a partly sunny Monday. Before we get started today, a few weekly announcements. First off, um, Zoom lunches start today from 12 to 12.30. The link is on my Canvas page if you want to go and just hang out with people for lunch. Some of you have been doing that on my science Zoom, but if you want to hang out with more people, the Zoom lunches start today. This week is going to be different. Um, tomorrow is going to be a work day. For those of you who needed the extra time on the essay, I'm going to give you instructions today about the last paragraph, and then if you're done, you're going to check your work and upload it, and if you need more time, that's tomorrow. So if you are done with the essay, tomorrow is a science-free day. If you need the work time, use that work time tomorrow. There will be no instructional video. It will just be a note that says, work on the essay today. Understand? I would give you time in class for this, and that's what this is. Okay? Uh, as a result, there will be no Zoom with me tomorrow, Tuesday. I won't be there, so don't come. And there is no school on Friday this week either. So a little bit different week for us, um, science-wise. We'll start some new stuff on Wednesday, and then Thursday there's a little different plan. So stay with me, tune in each day, but on Tuesday, tomorrow, all you need to do is make sure your science essay is done and uploaded. Okay? All right, it looks like there's a lot to do today, but it really isn't. These are resources for you. So you are watching the Day 5 Instructions video. Here is the outline that I am going over with you. What you're going to include is your solutions. Realistically, what can be done to help overcome the problems that you described in paragraph three? So paragraph three was where you had the issues, the risks and problems related to constructing a school at your location. Think about how you could minimize the erosion and deposition and changes in topography and protect from the flow of water. So look at your problems that you wrote about in paragraph three and think of some realistic solutions. Now it needs to be realistic. So for example, you cannot make the entire school levitate off the ground. If you've got that capability, you need to sell that to the government right away and become a billionaire. All right, so you need to use realistic solutions, and we talked about that in some of those videos, some realistic solutions. You may encounter others because you might be doing some research. You are going to include a location on Earth where the solutions you described are being used successfully in the real world. 
and you are going to include a picture or a diagram of a real example, not one that you drew or created, you're going to find a place in the world where they are using your solution and just include a picture of it so your readers will know what you're talking about. They will be able to see it in effect. And then you are going to explain what your solution does to control the water or the stability of the land. Why does your solution work? What does it do to keep the land stable or control the water? This is going to involve a little bit of research by you, so it's a good thing that tomorrow is a work day, right? Then you are going to go to the building site analysis self-check that you used on Friday. I hope you used it on Friday to include what should be in each of the three paragraphs so far. And here's the information from the fourth paragraph. So you're just going to make sure that in your work today, you have included this stuff in your document. Easy enough? There is a scoring guide for this activity. If you are interested in the scoring guide, it is located right here and tells you exactly what you need for a level four response. And surprisingly enough, your response discusses all of the evidence required in each paragraph and explains or describes the evidence completely, correctly using appropriate science concepts and appropriate vocabulary. So if you have everything on the checklist and you have explained it clearly, remember to play the game where you pretend I do not know anything. Okay, you are the expert geologist. You are taking this information to the Boomtown City Council to tell them where you think the best building site for the new school is. Pretend that they don't know anything. So explain your evidence, use your science concepts, and use your skills. And if you include everything on the checklist and explain it relevantly, you get a level four. You have earned it. Congratulations. Hey, if you have questions while you are working today, feel free to email me. I will have email up and going and I will be available almost all day. Have a good day, guys.